got metal detectors over there. Looks like a lot of the artist alley's not even set up yet. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing all right. I'm Tabby. I'm Tabby. Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Hi. Uh, my Pokemon drawing took me about 525 hours to complete. Yeah, the most tedious thing I've ever done in my whole life. It's been featured on, um, oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's been featured on uh, Kotaku, uh, Game Informer, Game yeah, Facts. Uh, well, officially, there's 807. It goes up to Zero Aura. But then I also drew all the different variations and like all the different forms that everyone has. Like all the Deoxys and Unknown and Arceus. So there's about 1,200 Pokemon here. And I drew them all to Pokedex size, so they're all ultra scale. The snap code actually takes you to my uh, YouTube channel. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's my little workaround here. <laughs> I used to use QR codes, but nobody nobody uses that, so... Yeah. <laughs> It's been a pretty steady first day, especially for a Thursday. Um, it's a full Thursday, too, because normally when you do, like, shows that open on a weekday, like a Friday, it goes from, like, noon uh, noon to 5 or, or something like that. Like, you'll get a half day. But we're getting, like, four full days here. Yeah, Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7, Friday, 10 a.m. to 7, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7, Sunday, 10 to 5. So it's, like, you get full days for four straight days. And uh, I've made my table back. Um, I'm on my way to making my Airbnb back, which is, you know, I'm staying in Manhattan, so that's not the cheapest, but it's way cheaper than um, getting a hotel. But uh, I was expecting, I, I was expecting a lot worse than how it is right now, so I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, and it's been a while since a con has pleasant, pleasantly surprised me. So, on another note. I want to say thanks to Daniel for buying me this beer. Uh, I had a couple of car guys come by the table. And it's always fun because you guys know I used to work as a technician. It's always fun when people come by the table and I can actually talk cars because I don't have any car buddies anymore. Hi. I do. I'm currently backed up for my um, on show, uh, in show commissions. So I have a, I do free shipping anything that's commissioned here. So I do 150 per character. That's on 11 by 17 Bristol paper, and I ink the whole thing from edge to edge. Yeah. So here's a question. Yes. You have something like that with a drawing up there. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever think about doing something that type of style? So it's a modernistic style, sort of, you know, Neo, but in gray. Do you ever see what the inside of a Penn Station, New York Penn Station, used to look Thank like? Thank you, man. Um, I'm sure I've seen at some point. I'm just curious. Because I'm from California, so I'm not... Yeah, I get yeah, it. Really yeah. Because, honestly, I'm not big. If it's your your art, I'm one thing, but the, the fan art, some of the... This is me. I look for what people can do, or, you know, for different art. Right. Um, so what I was thinking is doing something in that style. Here we go over there. Okay. Oh, someone like that. Yeah. Okay. No, I'll, I'll reach out to you then. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you want to make it easier, just if you want, I could just send you an email right now. That way you don't have to search me out. Okay. That way whenever you're ready, you could just respond to it. Thanks. Find it makes life a little easier. Because yeah. you're probably going to walk away today with a bunch of business well, cards. I do, so, yeah. so what I have to do is I spend all my time trying to look through business cards and figure out, okay, wait a second, who is this? <laughs> and... What's up? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I didn't hear you recording. No, I heard you killing it today. Fucking, yeah, it's fucking weird, dude. Really? Yeah. But it's like, 
Well, I guess I'll, there's like there's not that many people here, but people who are who are here are buying. Yes, yeah. that's what I've noticed. Yeah, um, I actually haven't made a lot of individual sales. I mean, I have like compared to what a Thursday should be, yeah, yeah, but yeah. all my sales have been big sales. Like I'm not selling a lot of my. 11 by 17 stuff. Yeah, but they're buying like the king size and they're buying like the yeah, size. Yeah, yeah. They're buying those. And I'm just like, because a lot of them had the Thursday badge. Yeah. You notice that? Fucking everyone here yeah, only yeah. had the Thursday I mean, badge. Yeah. Here today is actually going to spend the next three days over at Yeah, uh, yeah. So That's what I think, yeah. Again. No. Yeah. So that thing that helped a lot because they're just like, here, we're just going to yeah. buy what we want and then leave. So I'm sure that helped. Like, it's not going to be terrible. Yes. And it's like, okay, it's going to be solid. And you. you it seems like since this is such an afterthought of a show, I didn't even consider the fact that everyone who's coming here might just be one dayers. Like everyone's going to that, but then yeah. they're like, "We'll check out the anime thing and just buy a one day badge here," yeah. because they get like a five dollar discount if they have that. Because yeah. normally it's twenty bucks to get in. So I was thinking maybe it's going to be like this every day, where everyone who's here is just here for that day. Just going to impulse buy and then leave. Yes, and then leave. Yeah. So that might work to our advantage. So, yeah. yeah. So yesterday, I went in to the, the Jarvis Center yeah. with this badge, and I tried to walk in super casual, yeah. and the, uh, the guard they told me to see, yeah, they, the guard said that the people running New York Comic Con specifically yeah. told the guards that the anime fest, they specifically told them not to let us in. It's not just one of those, oh, that looks different. It was, they specifically told the guards oh, not to gosh. let us in. It's like, you motherfucker. I was, I was so <laughs> casual, too. I had it in. I was just on my phone. I was trying to cover it up with my phone, too, and I walk in. And I was just, uh, anyway. They weren't having any of that. They weren't having <laughs> none of that shit. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get down to the nitty gritty about this show. Um, I'm only going to tell you things based on research I've done and word of mouth from both artists, um, people who run certain shows, and local convention goers. All right, so this is all information I've taken in. Don't take it as, you know, fact. But I am. Anyway, so at some point, um, New York Comic Con, there was, <laughs> there was a very popular anime show here in New York uh, called uh, Anime, or excuse me, it was called Anime Fest. And um, at some time, some time ago, New York Comic Con bought out Anime Fest and then shut them down. <laughs> and um, some time had passed. And then Anime New York City, which I believe is in association with Crunchyroll, opened up here in the same convention center that they hold New York Comic Con. Um, that was at the end of 2017. That was their first show in November of 2017. So then later on in 2018, I think it was in like, I think it was as late as June or May, something like that. Um, maybe later. New York Comic Con officially announced a uh, extension of their convention called Anime Fest. I guess they could still use the name because they own it, right? But it's very abrupt. Like, <laughs> like they just kind of threw it together. And again, this is just how I feel based on the knowledge I have and especially spending two days there now, you know. Um, you know, they say, okay... Um, New York Comic Con in association with Anime Expo, we're going to have an event at New York Comic Con specifically for anime fans. And, you know, you're kind of like, hey, that sounds amazing, right? Like, you would think it's just New York Comic Con, then they're going to have a section with anime stuff. Nope. Turns out it's about a mile down the road. Um, in, it, it's located at Pier 94, and you could Google map that if you want, the Javits Convention Center to Pier 94. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's a really far distance, you know, and they are providing a shuttle to go back and forth. And I'm like, OK, well, maybe they just didn't have the space. Um, and I feel like they didn't have the space because they booked it too late, because I feel like this is kind of a power play by New York Comic Con to uh, try and push out anime New York City. I mean, it wouldn't be uncharacteristic of them, considering they bought the only other anime show and then shut it down. Um, and again, just my opinion based on what I've what I've researched. Um, but anyway, uh, so you're like, okay, well, it's just kind of down the road, right? But it's just an extension. They don't have a lot of space, even though the second floor of the Javits Center has hella open space. Um, your badges for New York Comic Con don't get you into the Anime Fest. 
Conversely, the Anime Fest badge does not get you into New York Comic Con. So it's kind of like they're only an association by name, but other than that, they kind of don't really have anything to do with each other, which makes me think it was just a last minute thing thrown together. And um, I'm fortunate that I'm doing well. I said it from the very beginning. This show is either going to be really, really good or really, really bad. And for me, I think this is going to be a really, really good show based on my Thursday numbers. Thursday numbers, you know. Um, and I have two friends who are there who are doing really, really bad. And one friend there who's doing really, really good. Like, almost as good as me. And it's kind of like, you know, it, it does suck. Um, and I was hesitant to do this show because, you know, coming out to New York, it's not cheap, you know. And I was hesitant to do it, but I, I knew the gamble. So, you know, to my, to my artist friends, post-show, if you did really poorly at this one, you can't really be mad because we all kind of knew the risks going into this. You know, we all talked about how this thing was thrown, slapped together, you know, and it wasn't advertised very well. And, and there's just a lot about it that, that I, I didn't like. But I, I, I wanted to give it a shot because, um, and it is too early because it's only past day one. It, it's too early for me to say whether or not this is a worthy show, but... Um, yeah, just, just my initial thoughts, you know, we were all concerned about it, and we all knew the risks, so, anyway, um, that's it, that's, that's the lowdown on the show, you know, tables, Artist Alley tables were two fifty dollars a piece, um, which is fine, I'm sure renting out the pier was expensive, so conventions like to make their money back through their exhibitors, so, I mean, if they made their money back through us, two fifty dollars a table, yeah, it's okay, um, there's not that many artists there, well, you know, excuse me, there's not a very big Artist Alley, but, and I'll get footage of it, the vendors area looks like all artists. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? This whole thing is just one giant artist alley, you know, with a couple of video games here and there. But yeah, I don't know. It just seemed really messy and really unorganized. But we all knew the risks coming into it. So uh, I will just hope the best for everyone. And, and uh <laughs> Funny, Friday starting off a little bit slower than Thursday. I'm guessing because more people are probably at the uh, regular Comic-Con than they are here. Um, but like yesterday, I saw a lot of people with Thursday badges. Um, today I'm seeing a lot of people with Friday badges. And uh, I worked out yesterday because when they're here for one day, they like to just kind of either impulse buy or they know they're not coming back, so they're gonna come back and just buy, buy, buy. But um, it's still early. So overall, it's still been a pretty slow day in terms of foot traffic. Um, a lot of people are still rocking the one-day badge, which, you know, after I saw yesterday, everyone with Thursday badges, I assumed today would be all Friday badges, which means people are kind of impulse buying, like I mentioned before. Or, not well, maybe not impulse buying, but they know that they're not going to come back. So if they're going to buy something from you, then they are going to buy something from you. Um, so with that said... I started doing a buy one, get your next item $10 off. Um, so that does cut the profit on the extra piece. But what that does is it allows me to upsell um, something to a customer that I otherwise probably wouldn't have sold it at full price. Um, and I am doing that even with my 11 by 17s 
Uh, so even though most of my items that are being sold are larger items, um, I am still being able to upsell uh, an extra 10 bucks to myself because my 11 by 17s are 20 bucks. Say they buy one of my bigger prints, which most people are doing. Um, I mean, I, quantity wise, I haven't made a lot of sales, but my sales have been big items. So they'll, they'll start with the big item and then I started doing the 10 off their additional and I'll get them to pull like one of the 11 by 17s. And that's been, I've been able to upsell almost everyone that way. So it's like an extra 10 bucks per, 10 bucks plus uh, per, per, you know, person or group of people that are coming in. Um, the reason I did that is because the foot traffic is low. So there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot, you're not going to get a lot of sales in terms of like amount of sales. So the people who are here, you have to make sure you get the most out of them, you know. Uh, uh, if you're getting extra 10 bucks for every 10 sales, that's an extra 100 bucks, you know, that I otherwise wouldn't have got. And at this point, because the traffic is so low, that's kind of what I had to do, and it's working. Um, so, you know, do what you got to do. Again, they're only going to be here a day. Tomorrow, I'm assuming they're going to have nothing but Saturday badges. Um, they're here for the day, and when they buy, you have to upsell it and make sure that they buy a lot because you don't have a lot of other people here as options. Well, you heard him. Uh, we're done for day two. I actually did a lot better than I thought I was going to do. Like, this show is working out for me. But again, it's not working out for a lot of people here. Um, you know, big ticket items is what are saving me this weekend. So I'm going to pack up. I have a... Um, Part of the, the multi-channel network that my YouTube channel is on, Channel Frederator, they're having like a cocktail dinner tonight. So I'm going to grab all my stuff, drop it off at the Airbnb. My phone is dying. I forgot to bring my battery. So I'll charge that up. Kind of mosey in there, a little fashionably late. Uh, I'll clean up, take a shower, and head over there. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what that's all about. Let's clean up. Yeah, you notice that four full days, dude. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Good that you're doing well. I don't. I haven't talked to anyone else who's really doing well this yeah. weekend. Like nobody I'm talking to. The uh, perler that's sitting uh, two block, two rows. I think he's right behind you. He's okay. just doing like totally. He hasn't even made table yet. What? Why is this crooked? Why are you crooked? I was gonna, nice to I was gonna meet let you do your thing. And then. <laughs> yeah, that's a like very, very Yeah, you'll have to forgive me. I've been giving the spiel for like 10 hours at Comic Con today. So. <laughs> it's every Pokemon oh, the end. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have a Artist Alley table at the Anime Fest down at the pier. You know the the bastard stepchild of Comic Con they put us down there. Because we were looking for you today. No, they they, they stuck us okay. down there. Yeah. To be continued. the network members and the fans and the people that work here and I think the party is a great first step in that. So eat, drink, be happy, and, uh, and uh, just remember, uh, Frederator loves you. For the vlog. Is it a video? Yeah, it's a video. <laughs> 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 
So that um, that Pokemon piece has been like both a blessing and like a curse because it has really fueled like my uh, in terms of money. It's really fueled what I want to do. But now that's all anyone expects from me, and that's all anyone knows me for, and it's fucking irritating. <laughs> Okay, so it's the middle of Saturday, and uh, it came to my attention that New York Comic Con actually has an app where, okay, okay, where it'll tell you about all the different things that are going on, so let's let them use my location. Uh, no. That's for me, I don't want push notification. Ah, son of a bitch. Anyway. Stop, I don't want to fucking link my life to this app so that you guys can send me spam. Okay, so somebody told me that it's just been a bunch of information about stuff going on at the uh, other convention, but nowhere in here, I think, here's the show floor. There we go, Anime Fest at Anime Expo, there you go. Somebody was telling me that the app didn't have anything. No, they have a whole... The whole section in the app for the Anime Fest area with a schedule, which guests, even though it's a little bullshit that they put, like, they advertise a lot of Dragon Ball guests, but they were taking place at the um, Javits Center with the main New York Comic Con. Okay, so I just downloaded the app because somebody told me that there's nothing in here about the Anime Fest, but they have a whole section in here, so they have the exhibitors, they have the artist alley in here. No, it's fine, it's solid. Like, I'm complaining a lot about this thing, like, objectively, but I think people, especially in, like, the Artist Alley Network International, they're just, they're just kind of, they're just trying to find little nitpicks about it, you know? And I kind of do that sometimes, but that's a little uncalled for here because the app does have us on there. So, that's cool. So, we're, uh, we're done for the day. I haven't been recording a lot of stuff because nothing's really been going on. There's nothing to record. Um... It's the same thing. I took the same tactic today where I upsold people on a $10 off and, and it carried through. And it's just been carrying me through this whole time. Um, I had in my brain, um, because of all the different factors that were going in, uh, coming into the show with, you know, that it's far away, that it's a first year, that they're not advertising it. Um, I just, I thought if I could close the whole show with 3000 then I'd be happy. I'd be like, yeah, that's cool. But it looks like we've already surpassed that on the third day, so I'm feeling pretty good. So um, yeah, I'm actually I, I'm actually feeling really good because I had talked about this in a, a different vlog where it's like you're gonna feel you know either good or bad depending on um, your expectations, and you know I set proper expectations for this one, so I'm actually happy. Had I been like, well, it's New York Comic Con, I want to make like 10k at a first year show that's out in a van down by the river then that you know that's my fault i'd be sad you know that's my fault so i think your mindset with everything in life your mindset will dictate a lot of how you feel about or uh, your, your mindset is going to dictate a lot of well it's going to dictate everything anyway i'm going to clean up the uh, mcgregor fight is tonight i really want to see it there's a lot of bars here that are going to be playing it for free, so they might get a couple of my bucks. I might drink a little bit here in uh, New York. Hopefully, no fights break out and I don't get stabbed or anything. Day, uh, day four is actually looking like the busiest day so far in terms of foot traffic. Like, you go outside, all the line, like the entire... Um, I guess like aisle they have for uh, people was full. So uh, hoping for the best. It's going okay, uh, especially for a Sunday, but we will, we will see.
my, my single room in an apartment uh, Airbnb, which is only like a 20 minute walk from here, so it's still on the island, which is good. That still came out to like $500 for the whole week. Yeah, which is, you know, not that bad for being here the whole week. But it's a room in an Airbnb, it's still 500 bucks. And I was like, Yep. Oh, yeah. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Like, it was cause, what else are you going to do, right? Yeah. yeah. No, there, there's a lot of people they're staying out in Jersey and then they, they, they commute in but then they're like oh if it if everything goes according to plan it takes like 40 minutes plus to get in and I'm like whatever <laughs> no. yeah those are all my uh, original characters and concepts so how do you make these on the computer or uh, so my line work mm -hmm. that's all done with inks and brushes and then I'll scan it in and then I shade it digitally yeah so it gets like a little grittiness, a little grittiness from the ink, but then it's like really refined shading. So a nice unique look to it. Thank you. Awesome. Sweet, I got the P. Yes. You won, uh, Yeah, all, I mean, all the California people here, I know I know all of them, and we all had the discussion. We, uh, person next to me, uh, the one in the wheelchair, the very far over there, um, he's wearing a kimono, he's over there, and she had the double spot, and she was with a brown leather jacket, so they're leaving right now. We all had the discussion of, look, if it's bad, that's our fault. Yeah, but I mean, in association with NYCC, how can you really turn that down? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. But I thought that because of the fact that it was a recall show, a recall show, and because of the yes. anime expo, which I think, you know, like anime expo a lot, so I'm like, kind of. Yeah, you would think, right? You would think they would have giant signs that say AX on them. Right. Just no, fucking put just giant like, AX banners everywhere, and then you'll get. Just like how they did with Comic Con, like, guide people to this area yeah. where it's not super confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you're just looking for like, anyone that's not. Just put us in the fucking Javits Center and put a giant, giant banner, a giant banner that has the AX logo on it, and then that's all you need. That's fucking all you need. Yeah. I, I've been applying the past two years. Well, the show's pretty much over in a couple of minutes. Um, a lot of the, a lot of people left already. Um, so you know, I've already talked about this show, the ins and outs of like how it's kind of slapped together. There was. There is space in the Javits Center that they could have put us there. Um, we didn't get notified until this show. And I'm just going to kind of gloss over everything one more time. There is space at the Javits Center. They could have totally put us in there. Um, but I feel, you know, we, we didn't get notice about this show until really late. So I'm assuming that, like, things had already been established. So, I mean, like, they just found the next open venue. That's the way it seems to me. You know, I'm not for sure. But if you were to ask me, that would be my my full-on opinion that I believe so you know slapped together as a response to anime NYC that's all this was um, luckily for me I have big ticket items which carried me through the weekend um, thankfully um, other than that could I recommend this show to you if I had an open weekend I would honestly do this again even if it is located in this pier only because like because I you know what I'm half and half. If I had a totally open weekend, I'd be half and half on doing it again. Um, 
I wouldn't recommend it. Like, I just wouldn't recommend it. If you get, in, if you get into the NYCC, of course you do that. If you get into the Anime Fest, I can't, I can't, like, you, unless you're local and you can commute in, you know? If you can commute in, definitely. But if you gotta, like, fly or you gotta drive, I don't know. Because it's expensive to stay in the area, you know? Especially if you're staying in Manhattan. Well, this island is crazy expensive, so. Yeah, I think this one for most people was a bust. And uh, in my opinion, it was kind of lack of organization, lack of communication, rushing, and kind of lack of care. You know, just the fact that our badges, the fact that our badges don't get you in over there, to me just shows like they just kind of didn't give a shit, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, um, luckily for me, I was able to stay uh, busy and productive during this whole time and, and profitable but that's just me and the majority of people that's not the case so all right guys um my flight takes off tomorrow uh, at 5 a.m so after this i'm gonna pack up and i actually am kind of homeless for the night because uh because my flight leaves in the morning i'm gonna clean up here i take off at five we're cleaning up at five now we might just spend the night at the airport but um all right let's go All right, one last thing. So we're out here, we're closing up and everything. Uh, if you're gonna do this show, they continue to do it at the pier. The loading dock is not available to cars. So this thing is right here, because that's where the convention is. It's not available to cars. So they're making you guys park out there, line up, and drag all your stuff back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that's just another thing to kind of you know, keep in mind if they continue it at the pier.